Welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to show you guys what I've been working on with my preschool student, preschool slash kindergarten student. So if you guys have not watched my preschool slash kindergarten homeschool summer homeschool curriculum, um, you will not know that I am also homeschooling a preschool slash kindergarten student. Um, and I showed you guys the curriculum video that I'm doing for the summer. Um, and I do want to update you guys, like I said, on what she's working on. So this video is pretty much just an update on what she's been working on. And some new things and old things that I have been doing with her. So first thing, this is her schedule. Um, and we do this every single day. So here's her name, Jocelyn's schedule. We go over letters, sounds, the ABCs, numbers, counting with fingers, counting, writing her name, writing letters of the week, the letter of the week, writing numbers, activities, and a workbook, um, one page from a workbook that, this is the workbook that we use, but I'll go into that in a little bit. Um, so yeah, so this is the page from the workbook that we do, but I'll show you guys um, at the end of the video. So my phone is a little dirty, one second. So this is the letter sounds that we do, and I got this paper from the twins when they brought home all their um, stuff from public school, and I guess they used this in public school, and I got, and I am using it, what's wrong with me today, and I'm using it with her for her letter sounds, so we just go over her letter sounds every single day. This is her letters, this is her numbers counting with fingers, counting, so like counting objects, all the way to 10. This is her name, so she's tracing her name. The letter of the week for this week is D, so she'll um, trace and then write by herself. This is the numbers tracing, numbers one through six, and that is that. For her, one second, this is hard to use one hand. For her worksheet, um, we do we're using one page from the big school zone big preschool workbook and this is a great great workbook um, for kids as a supplement I don't recommend using this as your main curriculum I only use one page out of this book so she does she does the front and back so right now she's working through pre-writing skills and the reason why I use this is because I want her to feel like she um, is learn not learning, but like, what's the word? More of like she's confident and able to do work by herself. So we do this at the end of the day. And the reason why I picked the preschool one was because the kindergarten one was a little too advanced for her. She has no prior um, educational education. Um, so that's why I'm starting in the beginning with her. So this is great for building confident. That's the word, confident building. And like I said, right now she's working through pre-writing skills. I have made a flip through of this workbook if you want to see it. So this workbook is pretty good. We do it at the end of the day and she likes it. She's able to do this by herself with no problem. I really, really enjoy this workbook. But I don't recommend as a curriculum. Like I also, I recommend this as a supplement. For activities, like I mentioned here, we do three types of three types of activities. We do name activity, ABC activity, and number activity. For the name activity, I use the Unifix cube, um, and I just take out the letters in her name, and I have her put like. So what I do is I she has her name right in front of her. She has the letters of her name, and she just puts the let the the cubes together to form her name while also looking here. And that's a name activity that I do with her. For her ABC activity, I give her this. And she has all the letters. And because we're working on uppercase letters, um, this has uppercase and lowercase. So what I do is I just give her one at a time. And she has to find the letters that match the cubes. Same thing with numbers. But the only difference is that I made these with bottle caps. And it has the numbers on them all the way through 10 and she just places them on it and I have another activity where it has little dots but it's a little bit more advanced for her so as she gets better with her number recognition and counting I'll advance her into there but that's pretty much it that's all we do and um, we do sometimes not all the time I'm not gonna say I read to her all the time but I sometimes do have her pick books from this bookshelf 
and I read it to her as a read out loud. And that's all I do with my preschool slash kindergarten student for the summer of 2019, 2000. That's it. That's it's 2019. If you guys have any questions on anything that I mentioned in this video, ask in the comments down below. I know I talk too fast and I sometimes don't explain myself too much, but I wanted to show you guys what I am doing with her every single day. Things do change. For example, every week we do a different letter and sometimes I add numbers. But because she's having, I do want to say, she's having trouble writing the number three by herself without tracing. I am keeping these numbers here until she, not mastered, but got the hang of it. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you Again, if you guys have any questions, ask in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in another video. Bye-bye.